Hello and welcome to a statue review for The Amazing Heroes Volume 25, Tokoyami Fumikage. So we have the edgy boy himself, the Lord of Shadows. Actually, I don't think that's uh, his official title. But we do have the Shadow Bird Man from Class 1A in My Hero Academia. This is a statue I've been looking forward to for quite a while. Partly because I was genuinely quite curious as well to see how they'd make his shadow. And, well, it turns out it looks pretty cool, at least from the preview shots and from this box. Obviously, I haven't opened it up yet. So today we're going to take a delve in. This is by Ban Presto, as I've mentioned at the start, hopefully, or at least in the video title. So turning around, we've got him there with Dark Shadow, the name of his Dark Shadow, in the background. And we can see this is kind of meant to pair up with the hoax statue which came out recently as well um this is not a statue i own because i already have a hoax statue that i bought i think it was last year or the year before and on the back we do have the sick looking statue that it's so cool i am very excited to open this one up and then on this side we've got a zoom in on his face and i don't think dark shadow's face or maybe uh, and then that is the top so I'm going to go open him up and we'll take a look inside. And for those interested, he comes in three parts. His base, him and Dark Shadow. I'm going to go assemble him. All right, he is assembled. And I've got to admit, I... God, he's so cool. So, uh, we'll take a look at him. I can't wait any longer. So, he comes with the translucent black base, as all the other amazing hero statues do. Uh, this one does have a bit of an exception, though, because it has these two um, indents here, which is where Hawks would fit into the base, as you can see there. Which is pretty cool, honestly, because that makes a lot of like economical use of base space. If you've collected a lot of statues, you'll know that eventually, you know, your shelf does fill up very quickly, and sometimes the base is so large that it does take up a lot of room. So honestly, that is really cool. I don't know if I'd get rid of my old Hulk statue just to get a new one for this, but, like, I'm not against the idea now, to be honest. If I see it on sale somewhere, especially. Anyway, let's look at this statue. So he's got his uh, black boots, kind of like generic black leather boots, along with his kind of baggy black jeans uh, that he is well known for. Obviously, everything he wears is black because he lives in shadow. Or, well, dark shadow does, anyway. So we've got the uh, belt buckle there, looking pretty nice, along with lots of pouches. Now, I can't fully remember what it is he wears, he keeps in these pouches, but on the back he does have this one pouch, which is where Dark Shadow is emanating from, uh, which has a little uh, metal clasp. That's really nice, actually. And run there, they do have other metal clasps. I would take Dark Shadow off to show you, but to be honest, the only thing you're missing is seeing his back, and um, to be honest, it's just a black t-shirt, as we can see here. It's uh, it's a fairly form-fitting black t-shirt, but, you know, he is he's quite a muscular guy, as we can see from the uh, musculature in his arms here. They've done a really good job, uh, as, as usual, with, like, the hands and the arms and stuff. He's got two black wristband things. I always thought they were watches, but he's clearly not watches, because he's got two of them. There he is, just kind of, you know, ready to fight. Uh, we'll move on up to his face, which looks incredible. Honestly, that is really cool. Uh, it is exactly what you'd want from a Fumikage uh, statue. He looks really, really sick. Uh, and, you know, on the back you can see the, the spikes of his hair. Not particularly fluffy or whatever. Again, I'm sure if there was, like, you know, a several hundred pound statue... You'd get maybe like feather, you know, motifs and stuff. But he looks pretty cool, I think. And talking about cool, on to the the boy himself, Dark Shadow. So he's a bit... He's coming up a bit sort of like light blue purple on camera. In person, he is a lot darker. He's like very dark purple, I'd say. But I think the camera's just making it a bit lighter. So if you do buy this... You know, do keep in mind, he is purple, but he's not quite as bright as he appears here. And he is very cool. He's got this kind of weird lizard-like texture, almost. 
kind of like scaly and stuff. You can definitely see he's got weird kind of like almost an exoskeleton kind of thing going on. Uh, you can see the muscles as well in the shadow, along with, of course, his kind of like shadowy hands. Uh, they, they are very cool. Uh, so this all connects on the back of Tokoyami there. Uh, actually, if I go around the other side. There you go. So it kind of connects in here. Um, it, it takes a little bit of, you know, sort of like force to put her in properly. I kept pushing him forward by mistake. And so he's kind of like leaning on his shoulder and it didn't look right. So you've got to kind of like push it in and then lean it back a little bit. And then it fits perfectly. And then moving on up, we've got the sort of... The, the terrifying kind of shadow ghost face thing. Like, man, this thing is so cool. Um, is it super edgy? Yes. Is it kind of like over the top? Yes. But ah, I love it. It's just because it is kind of like the dark, shadowy, twisted version of Tokoyami himself. It's, ah, it's just so cool. And it looks amazing. Um... As I've said in other statue reviews and figure reviews before, I am a sucker for like things with multiple arms, more than two. They always look really cool, I think. And this kind of nails it. This is, I mean, he's basically got a stand from Jojo. Uh, but this, uh, it just looks so cool. Like, honestly, the posing and everything, he looks kind of like an edgy, angsty character, and that's what he is. That's, you know. Anyway, before I start gushing and uh, rambling on, I'm going to go take some photos. So here is the montage. All right, I am back. Hopefully you enjoyed that montage. And i got to say, he, he he's so cool. I think this might be my favourite My Hero Academia statue. I've said that about a lot of them in the past. Uh, and as the collection grows, I think, you know, some of them have stayed like favourites. I still love that Lemillion statue that I reviewed like two years ago now. I like all of the, the statues I have, obviously. I don't know, this one, it's just so cool. Like, I, I love what they've done with Dark Shadow. He looks really cool. Honestly, like, I, I can't think of much more that I'd want in, like, a really premium statue. Obviously, this is a prize figure. This is, you know, quite affordable. Um, I don't know if the price is all that much different than, for example, last week I reviewed G Jiro. I don't know if this cost much more than she did, and, you know, whilst there is, like, maybe more detail in Jiro's one, the amount of plastic you get in this one, because, like, he's a hefty boy, is just, like, this is so cool. He really does look awesome from, like, a ton of angles as well. It's, ah, uh, it, it, it just works really well. Obviously, I'm going to be displaying him with his mentor, Hawks. Like, they just work really well. I am genuinely a little bit tempted now to get the hoax to put behind him um, with the wings out. Maybe I'll either, I don't know, sell this or, like, give it to someone. Or maybe I'll just have two hoax statues. He is really cool. You know, who knows? But, yeah, honestly, this is... Ah, it's just so cool. Like, I, I love the designs in My Hero Academia, and I think this is, like, peak for me. It's fairly straightforward. I'm sure not a ton of people love him, maybe. You know, he's not one of the main dudes. He doesn't get a ton of screen time or opportunities to do stuff. But this, this for me is like peak statue. And the fact it's a prize statue as well is like, it blows my mind. I'm, I'm really happy. Sure, maybe some details could do with, you know, higher, higher fidelity. But I mean, hey, I ain't picky. I, I really love it. Um, anyway, I'll stop gushing now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you own this or any other My Hero Academia statues. Um, I think I've got one or two on pre-order coming up, but I can't remember. I could be wrong about that. 
But obviously, I'll keep an eye out. Um, you know, I'll probably be buying more in the future. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave you a playlist for my other statue reviews, which have got a lot of My Hero Academia statues in there. I'll leave uh, YouTube come up with a recommendation there, and I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.